Isaac Watts, the father of English hymnody, was frail in health during much of his life. For the last 30 years of his life, he was more or less an invalid at the home of his friend, Sir Thomas Abney, where Watts devoted himself in comfortable and happy surrounding to the writing of many of the fine hymns still used today. Watts' ambition, according to his own words, was as follows. My design was not to exalt myself to the rank of glory of poets, but I was ambitious to be a servant to the churches and a helper to the joy of the meanest Christian. Although frail in health and grotesque in appearance, described as five feet tall with a big head and a long hooked nose, Watts was a scholarly genius in many different fields. His writing included essays, discussions of psychology, three volumes of sermons, catechisms, 29 treaties on theology, textbooks on logic, and a variety of other works. Though he never married, Isaac Watts always loved children and wrote much for them. In 1715, he wrote a book of song especially for young people titled Divine Songs for Children, which has recently been republished by the Oxford University Press. This hymnal was the first hymnal ever written exclusively for children. The text for this hymn is from Watts' Hymnal of 1715. In the preface to his hymnal, Watts wrote, Children of high and low degree, of the Church of England or dissenters, baptized in infancy or not, may all join together in these songs. And as I have endeavored to sink the language to the level of a child's understanding, and yet to keep it, if possible, above contempt, so I have designed to profit it all, if possible, and offend none. Other hymns by Isaac Watts include Jesus shall reign, O God, our help in ages past. When I survey the wondrous cross, am I a soldier of the cross, and joy to the world. The music for this text was first found in a collection published in 1784. It was originally intended for use in the Roman Catholic Chapel of the Duke of Württemberg. Interestingly, of the 55 hymns in this collection, the majority were written by German Protestant hymn writers. The tune Elacomb first appeared in England in 1868 in the appendix to Hymns Ancient and Modern. The tune was named for a village in Devonshire, England. Let us hear this quartet of men, Brother Elmer, Brother Randy, Brother Roji and Brother Isikal, as they sing, I sing the mighty power of God. I sing the mighty power of God that made the mountains rise, that spread the flowing seas abroad, and built the lofty sky. And 
tempest blow by order from thy throne. While all thy borrows lie from thee, he is ever in thy care. And everywhere that man can be, thou God 